will build 12 coaches. We're on a nice little day out to Hampton Court Flower Show. This is my dad, Ian, and um, we're going to have a look around, see what it's like, and going to take you with us on this wee trip. We had to get up very early. <laughs> what time do we get up for? 4 a.m. So we're a bit bleary eyed. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> First up we headed to the Floral Marquee which was absolutely spectacular. It was definitely the highlight of the show without a doubt. It had everyone's um, prize winning plants. Each stand had kind of a different speciality so one would have bonsai trees, one would have cacti, one would have um, prize winning hookra or achillea or um, then at the back of the floral marquee was um, some amazing seeds. This was the allium section. It was actually incredible. Amazing variations in the types of alliums. Cosmos, um, I have some grown in the garden, which I'm really, really pleased about. These two ladies here were on Gardener's World just a couple of weeks ago from Tissington Nursery. Maybe you recognize them. And there's amazing dahlias. Just check out some of the heads on these. Absolutely incredible. As I said, the floral mar marquee was definitely the highlight of the show for me. The show gardens were um, a little bit underwhelming, if I'm being honest. Um, and there was quite a lot of people selling things, which I hadn't expected, actually. Yeah, overall, I'd say it was a good show, but there was probably about 20% too many people there. Then made our way to the rose tent, which was so beautiful. These are Diva Austin roses, all various different types. Um, they were very beautiful, fragrant and utterly spectacular. It was very busy in here um, and from about lunchtime onwards it started to rain and it got very very busy and there was a kind of a stampede into the floral marquee as you can see here there was a lot of kind of annoyed people in the end we decided to just go out into it because to me that was better than standing in a crazy crowd we went to check out some of the show gardens um, which were beautiful, but yeah, a little bit smaller than I expected, perhaps. We just spent the last hour dodging the rain. As you can see, it hasn't really worked that well. Although my wool has kept me dry. Um, it's quite busy here. And yeah, quite a lot of people about, as you can see. I'll show you around some more gardens now.
How's the wetness? I'm heading into RHS Wesley today, so stick with me if you would like to see around.
made our way back to Gatwick Airport through rush hour. We were squashed on like sardines. It really brought back memories of when I was at university here. And it was a really nice trip overall. My favourite part was probably RHS Wisley. It's always spectacular and I really enjoy and I really enjoyed going back there again. Thank you so much for watching um this vlog and hopefully catch you next time.